In this video, we're gonna start working with the for loop. The for loop is used to run a code or a statement until a condition is met. So we're gonna add right here for loops. We're gonna add for and the parentheses and then the curly braces. So here inside the parentheses, the for loop will consist on three parts. So we're gonna add, for example, the first one is going to be the initial value. We're gonna add let e equals zero. Normally you will find this as this. Normally a for loop is going to start at zero and normally you will find this variable also uh, which is called the index. So then we're going to add a minus 10. This is going to be called the condition. So this for loop is going to run until this a is less than 10 and the third part is going to be the increment so each time this code is running this value is going to be incremented by one so we're gonna add console.log and we're gonna add template literals we're gonna add number and uh, right here i'm gonna add the dollar sign open and close the curly braces and we're gonna print this index so save this and now you can see we have number zero, number one, and it's running until number nine. So let's review the code again. So you can see where uh, the initial value is going to be zero. You can see we have number zero right here. This is the beginning of the for loop. Then we have the condition. So this is going to run until the i is less than 10. So for example, uh, you can see we have number zero. So it's going to execute this code. Then it's going to increment by one. So in the next iteration, let is going to be equal to one. It's going to evaluate right here and it's going to say, well, one is less than 10, of course, and it's going to create another iteration and it's going to run until it's nine. Once the for loop uh, or the index is, uh, the value is 10, it's going to evaluate right here again. And it's going to be is 10 less than 10 and this is going to evaluate as false and the for loop is going to be stopped from running. If you want to print the number 10 here, uh, here on the condition, we can add something like i minus 10. We can add something like i minus or equal to 10. And this is going to run until the number 10 is right here. So you can see that this code is running uh, 11 times until this condition is met. And that's where for loops are really helpful. So for example, let's uh, read a value in the for loop. And we're gonna comment these lines. We're gonna add again for, and we're gonna add let i equal zero, i minus 10, and then we're gonna increment. Always we're gonna increment by one when you have a for loop is recommended. Then we're gonna add the following. We're gonna check, for example, if the increment is equals to two or the index, we're gonna print something like this, console.log. Yes, two, something like that. And we're going to add, for example, right here, console.log. And we're gonna, we're gonna print this. So copy this and paste. So it's going to be like this. We're gonna check when we have i equals two and it's going to print this message. So save this. Now you can see we have number zero, number nine. And when this index is two, it's printing yes, two. And then you can see it continues printing, the, it continue printing the number two. If you wanna remove this number two, you can add here the keyword continue. Save this and now you can see we have number zero, number one, and the number two is yes, and then we have two. And this doesn't print the number two because we are at continue. And continue is going to stop this from running and it's going to uh, loop again. So it's going to prevent that the number two is being printed. You can also break the for loop. So we're gonna copy this and paste because it's really, really similar. So we're gonna make a copy. We're gonna comment these lines. And instead of having continue, we're gonna, we're gonna have break right here. The rest is going to be the same. 
So when we are in the number two, this is going to break, break the for loop. So save this. Now you can see we have number zero, number one. And when the index is equal to two, it, it will bring the yes two, and it's going to break the for loop. It won't uh, complete the condition because the, this break is going to stop from running everything.